Continuing our political coverage, the Maine Governor Parson appointed as Lieutenant Governor last week has hit the ground running. Yeah, Mike Kehoe's appointment comes, of course, on the heels of former Governor Eric Greitens resignation last month. Today, Kehoe is in Springfield to meet with city leaders and staff members at Bass Pro Shops. Our Bria Douglas had a sit-down interview with him today. What did you learn about his uh, vision for our state, Bria? Well, David and Heather, the first thing I learned was that he wasn't ready for Governor Parson's call to take the job, but after making sure his family was on board, he immediately said yes. Being sworn in as the state's second leading man is a day Lieutenant Governor Mike Kehoe, husband and father of four, never saw coming. Ten days ago, I was just thinking about getting back in the private sector. Originally from St. Louis, Kehoe worked in both the automobile and farming industries before becoming a Republican state senator. I was term limited out as a state senator. Kehoe enjoyed public service but was looking forward to returning to his roots in business. That is, until he accepted Governor Parson's sudden call to become Missouri's 48th lieutenant governor. You just go. Uh, this is a swimming pool. You just have to jump in and start swimming. First up is bringing stability back to Missouri after the state endured a tumultuous six months. My uh, role to help lieutenant governor is just to make sure everybody knows that the, the ship of government is sailing good. It's in steady hands now with Governor Mike Parson. Uh, I intend to help him make sure that that ship continues to sail in a great direction. Kehoe's appointment to lieutenant governor hasn't come without controversy. Missouri Democrats have filed a lawsuit to block his governor appointed position so that the public can vote whether or not they want him in office. I think uh, Governor Parson's decision to uh, appoint lieutenant governor was supported by five previous governors, both Democrats and Republicans, as well as a whole slew of constitutional attorney experts. So I believe he stood on pretty good ground, and I quite honestly would not have taken this if I didn't think he had good ground to make that appointment. As for what's next for Missouri, Governor Parson will be signing the budget tomorrow, and Kehoe says it's definitely going to benefit the field of education.